My name is Joe Elia. I'm the executive chef here at the Black Dog Heights Cafe. Uh, the guys from down the water came down, brought some fresh caught fluke. So we're gonna make a couple dishes. We're gonna do some fish tacos, and we're gonna do our summer berry happy salad with a piece of seared fish on top. My cafe chef here, Ricky Smith, is gonna walk us through it. All right, we're just gonna be grabbing some flowers from the garden out here. Uh, right here I have some uh, borage, as it's called, or Japanese star flower. It's got a nice light cucumber flavor to it. Gonna throw that on the fish tacos. I also have some uh, nasturtiums here. These are an edible flower, kind of a trailing variety. Really nice flavor, good color, really pretty. This is just arugula, but we let it bolt, and I use the flowers on some of the dishes for a uh, little garnish, a little arugula flavor without being too heavy. Pick some dill, dill fronds on here too. A couple of pea tendrils here as well. These are snow peas. It's an experimental variety. So um, I pretty much like to grow as much as I can organically. We're uh, partnered with a local company called Compost with me. So we take all our food scraps from the kitchen and we send them over to them and they just give us fresh compost in exchange. Plus I like to plant um, with a specific process where I do uh, companion planting. So everything in here kind of helps each other grow a little more and keeping it this close and tight knit too, everybody, everybody's super happy. You know, it's just a, it's a really good way to grow flowers because you can't go wrong. All right, so I'm gonna pan smoking hot, a little bit of olive oil in there. Salt and pepper your fish. That's some pretty fish. That's a, a nice looking fish. Never always put the fish in going away from you. Otherwise you'll burn yourself. Done that. Learned that lesson the hard way. Yep. We sell a lot of these fish tacos here. Yes, yeah, so we supply our fish local. We are right down the street at the Clam Man. Um, local guy with a local business. He's been in business for a long time now. Uh, but we get our fish every morning from him. So the fish like the fluke, you just barely got to sear it. When you're able to move the fish in the pan like that, you're doing something right. You're just looking for a little caramelization on each one side. You're talking total cooking time of five minutes. Beautiful brown. Ricky's gonna grab some fresh roast from our garden. We're gonna throw it right in there with the fish, get a little more flavor to it. Really all you need for a season is the salt and pepper on this too. Draws out the flavor of the natural fish. You can get crazy if you want, put a spice on there or a blackened spice or you know, a little something English else. thyme here, some common English thyme. Right in there. Throw that right in the pan, get it a crackling. Lend some flavor to the oil and butter in the pan. All right, we'll turn that one off. Just let that sit there. Finish cooking up. This fish here. You can tell by the tenderness, just touch it. Get a little spring back. You're looking good. Nice and brown. So our tacos, we do um, corn tortillas. That way, in case anyone's gluten-free, they can definitely still enjoy these. Um, we lightly dress them with uh, pickled cabbage a little bit of avocado and chipotle crema that we make here, and then a little micro cilantro on top. We're just putting these on the grill just to warm them up. All right, we got some fresh baby spinach here. We're gonna be building our uh, berry happy salad. This is one of our salads that sells really great. Nice summer salad using berries, a lot of fresh ingredients, really nice colors on it too. So we got some baby spinach here. Throw this on the plate. And then we have some raspberries here, some blueberries. We try to source locally as much as we can. We go to the farmer's market every Thursday. We're good friends with all the farmers in town and stuff. Been going there ever since, about oh, four years now, I'd say, right? Yeah, about four years now. Some fresh here. We got some nice crumbled goat cheese. A little cheesiness without being too heavy. Nice pop of color on top as well. Toasted sunflower yeah, seeds as well, cool. give a little crunch. And we have some fried onion strings is here. Just some white onion that we just lightly coat in a little bit of batter. Fry just till crispy. And we have our strawberry basil vinaigrette. It's one of our house made dressings. Just a little honey, strawberry, basil, salt, pepper, oil. Super simple, but very, very fresh flavor. 
That's gonna drizzle stuff. that all over there. And there we go, that's our berry happy salad. Throw our nice piece of fish right on here. Right there. There we go. Delicious. This doesn't get much locally sourced in this. Yeah. Grown right out front. <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna build some tacos. First we put down this nice pickled cabbage we got here that we make in house. It's just a little red wine vinegar, water, uh, sugar in the raw, a little celery seed, some uh, salt pepper, pretty simple. Nice quick pickle. Okay, and then this will drop on some nice sliced avocados on each one. Put our fish on there. Sorry if the little pieces fall apart too. You just load them right up on there. It just means the it's super tender. It's important to use a nice light white fish on this too because you don't want to distract from all the other flavors. You want it to just enhance the flavor of the fish. Alright, next up chipotle crema. A little bit of micro cilantro. Yep, we got dill fronds. It's a fern leaf dill. I like to buy all my starter plants or most of my starter plants from Jenny's Edibles. It's a great local farmer. She's awesome. So just a couple of these edible flowers on there for decoration. Yep. That's why I like to grow flowers in the garden because it also attracts all the bees to pollinate all my pollinating plants. And they're pretty. So there you have it. Fluke tacos. Nice fresh tacos. Nice berry salad. You see a fluke on there? Can't go wrong with that. This is the best part of the job right in here. All right, so. You ready? All right, so we got a couple tacos here. All right, we'll talk about those first. See what I did there? Okay. So we got a white corn tortilla on the bottom. All right, we took the fluke, cooked it very simple. Just a little salt and pepper, cut it up, seared it right in a pan. All right, so any home cook could do this. All right, or if you're out camping on Washburn, you can do it over there as well, all right? A little campfire, a little pickled cabbage on there, some micro cilantro, and then a little chipotle crema, okay? Now we'll talk about the salad, a little healthier for you, okay? So you got a uh, baby spinach on the bottom. This is our berry happy salad that we have on the menu. Um, spinach, a little crispy onion hay on top of that. Fresh blueberries and, and uh, raspberries. You got a strawberry basil dressing um, on top of that, and then some crumbled goat cheese. And same thing, salt and pepper, sear the fluke, put it right on top. There you go. It looks absolutely delicious. All right, let's dig in. What do you yeah. think? We got black dog rum, black dog wine, craft beer. Killing it with that stuff. Delicious, delicious. delicious.